Welcome to Michigan in Focus, powered by TheCenterSquare.com. This episode features a piece by Center Square Michigan reporter Scott McClellan, headlined, quote, Southfield EV projects nab $60 million for battery research, end quote. Here's the story. A Southfield-based electric vehicle project will receive $60 million of federal funding for battery research, seeking wide-scale EV adoption. The United States Advanced Battery Consortium, LLC, a collaboration between General Motors Company, Ford Motor Company, and Stellantis NV, will focus on boosting the performance and manufacturing capabilities of batteries. The funding aims to extend the range of EVs, a barrier to adoption, along with a sparse charging network and expensive upfront cost, opponents say. The consortium will focus on R&D for EV batteries with enhanced performance. EV batteries using earth-abundant and domestically available battery materials, light, medium, and heavy-duty vehicle batteries, and more cost-efficient battery recycling processes. A previous study said, quote, what to do with all these retired electric vehicle batteries is going to be a huge issue, end quote. U.S. Deputy Secretary of Energy David M. Turk welcomed the news saying in a statement, quote, the Biden-Harris administration is helping drive forward the innovation and research needed to provide clean, cheap, and accessible transportation solutions for all Americans. The investments announced today will supercharge the development of a convenient and reliable EV network and expand the domestic battery supply chain, securing our nation's energy independence and spurring economic opportunity, end quote. Selection for award negotiations doesn't mean the project will receive funding. The Energy Department and the applicants will first undergo a negotiation and may rescind the selection for any reason. The U.S. Department of Energy announced more than $131 million for projects to advance research and development in electric vehicle batteries and charging systems. The Advanced Battery Consortium will work toward decarbonizing transportation. Michigan is currently about 1.9 million EVs short of reaching its 2030 goal of 2 million registered EVs. Michigan Chief Infrastructure Officer Zachary Collodine said the funding is an investment in the auto industry and good-paying middle-class jobs. Collodine said in a statement, quote, Michigan's expertise in automotive manufacturing put the world on wheels. And today we are seeing that same innovation shine through as we remain at the forefront of developing cutting-edge EV technologies. End quote. Other Michigan projects that received funding include Western Michigan University and Ricardo Incorporated in Van Buren Township will receive $3.2 million and $5 million, respectively, to develop innovative and clean options for advanced integrated onboard charging systems. MHALE Powertrain LLC in Plymouth will receive $3.5 million to develop sustainable materials for hydrogen combustion engines. The University of Michigan will receive $1 million to support research and development of novel lightweight materials for EVs. Michigan has secured more than $150 million through Charge Up Michigan and the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law to support the transition to EVs. Listeners can keep up with this story and more at thecentersquare.com. This podcast was made with the assistance of AI technology. Please subscribe and thanks for listening. Audible is a great way to gain access to an ever-growing selection of audiobooks. They've got what everyone's listening to, bestsellers, new releases, that story you've been waiting for. Follow the link in our show description to get 30 days of Audible free.